as you can see here I have one main home screen and you'll notice a few things some of the icons have been tweaked with some deeper shadows such as messages compass and voice memos also the calculator icon is completely redone but the user interface and the functionality remain identical to the version in 3.0 also you can see the dock here is a reflective dock like on the iPad and on Snow Leopard then on the next page you'll notice something, something interesting I have all my apps separated into folders and their titles are what they are for example I have some utilities here click utilities and it shows Tweety, things, contacts stuff like that and if I just want to launch I just click one of the apps and then boots up then I can close that app and then it takes me back to this folder and to get out of the folder I just tap away from it now I'm going to show you how you put something in a folder so I'm going to put notes into a folder with calculator so I'll make notes wiggle like you did since version uh, since previous versions and I'll just drag notes into calculator drop it in there there's a new folder it looks like stacks kind of in snow leopard called productivity click the home button now it's saved click away new product productivity folder notes in calculator if you want to get rid of this folder I just click one of the apps drag them out drag that app out also now it's gone fix that later so next thing I want to show you is camera as you can see the camera interface looks the same until the dial down here for zoom moves in so I'm going to put a bottle in right here now this is zoomed as usual and now I'm gonna zoom in a little see how that works now that's five times zoom according to Apple then I'll go into video recording and now I can autofocus during video recording that's something new but you cannot zoom during a recording so that's that now I'm going to go into this video and then you have all the options from 3.0 it's going to delete it okay so that's the updated camera alright now let's take a look at mail in mail you see we have a unified inbox here I'm not going to scroll through any messages because I don't want to uh, reveal anything private but as you can see all inboxes this is a unified inbox of five mail accounts so I quit that now I'm going to show you multitasking multitasking has to be the biggest feature that Apple added in 4.0 so here we go and I double click and it shows on the bottom all my running apps want to open one of the apps I just click the app then I want to quickly go to another one I just open that go back and I'll stay where it was as you can see this is where we were before we left so I'm gonna load up a page here let's load up apple.com and as you can see it's loading I'm gonna quickly shift to the camera and shift back and it'll continue where we were loading. So that's basic overview of multitasking in these terms. If you want to quit an app, you just make it wiggle and then you click the minus. Now be careful for something like phone. You're talking on the phone and then you open multitasking, you quit the phone call. If you quit the phone app from this method by making it wiggle and clicking the minus, your phone call will cut off. So you should be very careful about that now let me show you some other things that we've covered in articles on the website you'll have events phases and places so when you click places it crashes so that's something Apple's gonna have to work on 
those are some of the major things featured by Apple in 4.0. Now, iBooks is something on the App Store that we don't have access to yet, but there's also Game Center. So I'm going to open up Game Center. Get out of there.